Good morning. And welcome to St. Olaf Catholic Church. Today we gather to celebrate the great mystery of our understanding of God as three persons, one being, on this, the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. A special welcome to any visitors among us. We also welcome all who are watching this liturgy via the live stream and the television broadcast. Our presider is Father Kevin Kenny. At the sign of peace, a simple gesture or a bow is always appropriate. With respect for the celebration of the Mass, please silence all cell phones and electronic devices at this time. Please stand as we begin our liturgy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Good morning. Good As so we gather on this Trinity Sunday, we're invited into the communion with our God. One God, three persons, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Brings us to closer unity, not only with God, but with one another calling us to share in the gifts that we have been given. So let us take a moment to open our hearts to share in God's grace and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are a light for the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you draw us to the Father through the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus, the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a most merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in <coughs> kindness and fidelity. Moses at once, at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This indeed is a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of our Lord. As we celebrate today Trinity Sunday, the Sunday after Pentecost, next week we celebrate the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, Corpus Christi, the main elements of our faith. The mystery of the Trinity continues to draw us in to the beautiful relationship that God encompasses, the relationship between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God, three persons. And so as we enter into that mystery, as we are drawn in, we recognize that there's many times that we really don't know to which one we are praying, with which one we are walking, which one has blessed us. Because it's like they're in constant motion. And as we enter into that motion, into that relationship, into the fullness of who God is, then we come to the realization throughout life as to who we are. I was having breakfast the other day with a friend who was dealing with cancer, and he was saying, you know, I only go to the Holy Spirit. Do you think that's okay in prayer? Am I just bogging the Holy Spirit down? I said, no, 
because the line to the Father and Son is very long. Very few people go to the Holy Spirit. So you're right up there. So keep putting it on the Holy Spirit and you will be okay. But yet we're trying to bring everyone along to see the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives as well. That the Holy Spirit breathes life into us. It is through the Holy Spirit that we experience God's mercy and forgiveness and the love of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, I have to go in order to send the Spirit to be with you. So it's a great gift that we have that as we're drawn together, lifted up, we enter in to that eternal motion, that eternal dance, that we move with God. And in that movement with God, it's with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so at different times in our lives, we might be drawn more to the Father, we might be drawn more to the Son, we might be drawn more to the Holy Spirit. But to encompass the fullness, it's what we heard in today's readings, that God called himself Lord. And the Lord has given us commands through Moses that we may live our lives to enter into that communion with Lord, with God, with the Trinity. And as Paul says, to make amends, to encourage one another, to be at peace. And so when we find ourselves in the fullness of who God is, in that relationship, then we come to terms with who we are. And when we come to terms individually with who we are, then we see that we are part of a greater, greater community, greater family, a greater world. And that as that relationship with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are in motion, so are our relationships in life in motion as well. That we make amends, we encourage one another, we lift each other up. And in doing so, then yes, we can see the fullness of life because you and I know when someone's upset, when someone disappears, there's a hole there. There's a blockage, not allowing the free flowing of the spirit of that relationship to move forward. And so today as we gather, may we recognize the great love that God has for us. The God who is merciful, a God who is loving, the God who accepts each and every one of us for who we are and encourages us to grow into the person that God created us to be. And as we do that, then yes, that relationship with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit becomes a little more understandable in our lives. That as we enter into that mystery, then as we're fed with the body and the blood of Jesus, when we take the word in and allow it to infiltrate in our lives, then it is through word and deed that we can show to others, we can bring to others a deeper meaning of who God is. And so as we continue in our lives to grow in that relationship with God, allow yourself to get caught up in the motion of that relationship. Take a walk, dance with God today with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and be surprised and be open to who and what you receive, knowing that it could be different later on, it could be different tomorrow, but the sense is it's one true God. And as we're about to proclaim our creed, let us do so wholeheartedly knowing that as we proclaim in the mystery of our creed the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that they come together and bring us together as a community to live our faith and bring that love and mercy that God has for us into our world. Because Jesus came not to condemn the world, but to allow the world to be saved through him. And so let us know of that salvation, that we have eternal life. Because all who believe in his name may have eternal life. And that is a choice. That might have eternal life means that you and I choose it. That yes, we want eternal life, and in knowing that eternal life is there for us, then we live our lives with that great hope. And so today, let us lift each other up, let us pray for one another, and let us pray for the world, that as we live the faith into the mystery of what we have been given, that we can see the light and know that eternal life awaits us. But in the meantime, we are here together to walk together, to encourage one another, 
and to offer each other the respect of the gift of life that is given. And together, we proclaim that in which we do believe. I believe in one God. Invited into relationship with the triune God, we freely share our prayers with the one who loves us. That the relation, re, relational love of the Trinity might inspire church leaders to teach and preach with kindness and mercy, we pray to the Lord. That all people faithfully participate in God's life through acts of charity and justice that bring peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the poor and the hungry in our community, may they have all they need to be healthy and safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the disciples of Christ gathered here today, send us your spirit upon send, send us your spirit upon each of us, that we may know the divine presence ever more deeply in the days ahead. We pray to the Lord. For those who suffer pain through sickness, depression, or loss, especially those mentioned in our prayer ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who have died, especially David Sparks and Oscar Iwu, may they dine in the heavenly kingdom with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord Triune God, in your great love, you create, redeem, and sanctify the world. Receive our prayers that, guided by the Spirit, we might be beacons of your love throughout the world. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, that this oblation of our service, and by it make, a, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, Saint Olaf, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope Bernard, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people, you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world, and to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a humble sign of peace.
Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament of Lord our God bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You're all invited to participate in the parish Habitat Brush with Kindness painting project for this summer. Join us on June 15th or 16th or both for a fun community activity while helping others in need. The project house is very close to downtown in the Bryn Mawr neighborhood. Sign up details may be found on the parish website or call the office for more information. Current Samaritan ministry needs include backpacks, men's jeans and men's gym and work shoes, and canned soups and tuna. Items may be dropped off anytime you are at St. Olaf. Thank you for your support. The Young Adult Group invites all young adults to a summer Bible study that will meet this Tuesday from 5.45 till 7 p.m. in the St. Olaf Gathering Room. Join us for this Bible study on Tuesdays during the month of June. Remember a loved one on this Father's Day, June 18th, with a gift towards flowers and environment at St. Olaf. Donations can be made in honor of the living or in memory of the deceased. Suggested offering is $5. Forms to donate are in the acrylic stands at the church entrances and are due back by Monday, June 12th. Next Sunday, we celebrate the Feast of Corpus Christi, the most holy body and blood of Christ. In honor of Corpus Christi, all are invited in a procession of the Blessed Sacrament around the block following the 10 a.m. Mass. So we thank you all for joining us today as we celebrate the great mystery of the Holy Trinity. May our encounter with God surprise us throughout the week as to who it is that we're talking with, who it is that's helping us, who it is that's supporting us always knowing that God is merciful, God is loving, and God desires peace for each and every one of us. You're all invited into the gathering room after Mass where there are coffee and donuts. Before you go back into the steamy June weather we've been waiting for for months, right? We can't complain about it. It's beautiful. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and in the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God.